In this lesson, I'm going to show you the healing brush tool as well as the patch tool. Now, the healing brush tool goes beyond um, the capabilities of the clone stamp and the spot healing brush. It can simultaneously apply and blend pixels from area to area. And let me show you how that's done. So let's pick a, an image. Let's see which would be a good one where we can blend. Um, let's try that palm tree. I'll bring it into Photoshop. Alright, healing brush is under the spot healing brush. So there's that. Let's uh, first zoom in. Remember we tried to get rid of this hammock before and we couldn't do it very easily. Let's try it with the healing brush. Normal, sampled. Alright. Let's give it a whirl. So what this did is it's the same as the clone stamp tool where you pick a pot part to sample from by pressing alt or the crosshairs. But the difference is is that it's actually blending in the pixels rather than just copying and, and stamping at a different location. So let's try this here. this there and drag we'll copy that little bit of white water there we'll go here oh, look at that, that was pretty good let's try this again here Oops. Oop, I'm gonna go back a step There we go. I love the uh, <laughs> the undo history there. All right, let's try this again. Alt there. Go like that. Like that. Now I'm going to alt there. Pretty close, but let's try this over here. Okay, that's okay. Won't notice when it's zoomed all the way out. Let's try getting rid of the hammock here in the sky. pretty good, especially when we back out a bit. Let's try the other side. We'll pick our sampled area and blend. Up here we'll do the same thing. That's pretty good. Now let's back up and take a look at that. Pretty fair. Looks like a wave crashing. Probably if you spent some more time, you could get it perfect. But yeah, that's a, a good advantage over the stamp. Sometimes you want just the stamp tool um, so you can erase things entirely um, without blending. Sometimes you don't want to blend, but uh, but it's, it's always good to have that tool available, the healing brush tool. All right, now the patch tool. Patch tool basically copies a whole section into another section of your choice. Let me show you how that works. Let's uh, we can try it on the same picture. Let's go back uh, see if we can get a better effect here. So let's go in and grab. We are on the patch tool now. 
Now basically you're creating a uh, um, a section you're lassoing around a section manually like that and then when you grab and pull see you're getting a mirror of the other section so that didn't quite work out there let's tr try that again we should, we're probably better off taking a smaller lasso actually you know what let's pick a different picture I know which one we can do the old picture will work good the one um, this old door alright let's zoom in on this let's try to make that jacket disappear All right. first thing we'll do is we'll lasso around the bottom of it because I'm afraid to lasso the whole thing thinking that we don't have enough room to okay see so we've lassoed that now if we drag see how it's mimicking the bottom section look at that alright let's lasso again this time I think we have room to lasso the whole section. Let's take this whole thing. Got to be careful not to get the door pane. Like so. And let's move it. Out of the way. Now we'll deselect. Look at that jacket's completely gone. So there's multiple tools you can use to do the same thing. Um, so it's just a matter of experimenting. But there's a little, uh, little lesson with the patch tool and the healing brush tool. Enjoy.